there's something about this road that feels almost like it takes me somewhere. It feels like freedom. Movement to me gets me thinking. It helps me produce clarity. And then you add some speed to that and you know the emotions start to get really excited. And then I'm sure something happens in my brain chemistry that tells me, ooh, this feels good. When you think of me as a, as a creative person, what do you think? What are the words that come to mind? Because you know I struggle with anxiety and, and overthinking, and it's, it looks like I'm always working. No, it looks like you're always working. You're always working. And I think you put too much. I can see sometimes you put too much in your head. I love you. I always say, like, I don't know how to have fun. It, it's like. I can teach you in that. <laughs> <laughs> your head is somewhere else. Your head is for what are you supposed to do in or, you yeah. know, it's always know. created, 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 created. Yeah. created. Yeah. And, 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 and take that time for you, which is to have fun and something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think you're a great speaker. <laughs> no. <laughs> when I hear my voice, oh, no, nah. no, no. I no, think no. you're a great speaker. No, I don't know where you come from. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I think my speaking comes from you. I don't think so. Yeah, because you I have the charisma. So. I get my charisma from you. These medals, this trophy, this photo, I told my dad, I was like, put this in your garage in his man cave and I'm like just hang it there as like a symbol of just like what your son is like really good at there's significance to this and now it's time to essentially November 18th I have to write this speech now on this concept of joy and essentially prepare myself to give away this crown of inspirational speaker of the year um, and that's what that's what I'm preparing for now What if you were one metaphor away from finding happiness? Because this whole speech process is literally me translating the experience of music into a metaphor that is helping me figure out, OK, I may not be a happy person. I may be a miserable, never satisfied, unfulfilled, anxious, creatively disturbed, you know, entrepreneur. I may be super conflicted. And with music, with music, everything just makes sense. The fact that like nobody taught me how to do that, I can finish playing like that after feeling frustrated or anxious and be like, I'm fucking dope. <laughs> then when it's like time to figure out how to like do it for the public, there's all this doubt and conflict. And it's like, that's beautiful, but it's still not enough. And I think that's the theme of my entire life, really. The not enoughness is like, oh, but it's not this. Oh, but it's not that. Oh, but it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's just like, 
I don't know. Anyways, and try to finish writing this speech because time's running out. And if I don't memorize this soon, I'm in trouble. When I'm here, I'm safe. This is my, my, my safe haven, but it's also a place of tremendous overwhelm. It's like I'm torn all the time by this never ending desire to create and produce. And I won't lie, it is a struggle. It just makes me want to give up on so many levels, like give up on my creativity, give up on writing speeches, give up on my music, give up, you know, give up on serving, give up on entrepreneurialism, give up on dreaming big and just somehow find a way to be ordinary. Out of pain, purpose gets discovered somehow. It's how I create the frustration of being a speaker that has been celebrated as much as I've been celebrated. I feel underwhelmed with how much I've lacked in the sense of pursuing my career as a speaker, as a lyricist and a poet and a spoken word artist. Like the, the writer's block is so insane. And even though that is my ongoing reality, when I kick into high gear, magic happens. I humbly accept these gifts. I do, God. I humbly accept these gifts. I respect these gifts. Oh, I just want to let it go. I just want to let it flow. When I activate this as a way of being, this version of myself that I'm seeking to be a better man, that version is the embodied man. The divine masculine in me is so activated, I have it in my self-awareness, I have it in my perception. I just need to embody it. Stop pretending, stop hiding, stop living in the past while preparing for a future that you're afraid of. Clear the past, live embodied in the present and create the future as you go, rather than these big ideologies related to what it could be or should be. I got my clarity. I'm embodied by the solution. No more verbal pollution. I see beyond the illusion. I am the solution. And so it is, aho. For this story, for this life, and for this journey, for all that I am choosing, I'm choosing to declare that which I am, a speaker and a brand. Amidst and against all the fear, I'm here. <laughs>